What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mage V2. All right, guys, so the random question of the day is, what is your favorite summer activity? Is it camping or bike riding or hiking, what have you? Just leave it on down there in the comments box below. I wanna hear from you guys. Personally, I'm gonna go with swimming because it is really hot here in New England right now. It's upper 90s, and I gotta say, if you're gonna catch me outside at all during the summer, it's gonna be in a swimming pool or the ocean or a lake or a river, what have you. Any body of water is fine with me. I just wanna be swimming. So that's my choice. I wanna hear from you guys right down there in the comments. Today we'll be taking a look at this guy right here, the Mage V2 RTA from Coilart, with a big shout out and thank you going their way for allowing me to take a look at this device for the purpose of making this video. Most of the time I'm not a huge RTA fan myself, but occasionally one pops up that I do enjoy and this is one of those occasions. The Mage V2 is a really easy to build, easy to use RTA from Coilart and the price is just right for me. So taking a quick look online, this device comes in two different color options. You have a black version and a stainless version and it's going to run you about 40 bucks, which is a very fair price if you ask me for a nice solidly built RTA. And if you guys want to pick one up for yourself, I'll leave a link right down there in the description below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close up view and take a better look at this thing. All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the Mage RTA V2 in its original box. So let's quickly take a look around the packaging and then we'll talk about what is inside. So first and foremost, your typical coil art packaging here. Picture of the device with a little spot gloss there, as you can see. We've got a little picture of the deck right there with 24 millimeter, three and a half mil. On the bottom, we have a bunch of color indications which don't exist. Mine is black and gold. The only other color option is stainless steel, so not sure why they do that. This side here, Mage RTA V2. And on the bottom, we have official coil art if you guys want to follow them on their various social medias. And on the back, we have some information about the device. We have some warnings, scratch off authentication, company information, some more warnings over here, uh, UPC, and what the box contains. So speaking of what the box contains, let's go ahead and take a look for ourselves. We have a little fold out user manual. Yeah, fold out, not my favorite. You guys know this by now. But color graphics, actually really nice detailed graphics. That's a plus there. So I'm only gonna knock three points off for this one, but uh, typically it would be minus five. We have our little QC check card, just so we know it passed quality control. We have our Mage RTA V2. We have our plastic tank. So comes with an extra uh, extended tank, but it is made of plastic and it's frosted. So I'm not too crazy on the look of this personally. I know if some of you out there are gonna love it, but eh, it doesn't really do anything for me, but there you go. We have our baggy O parts. We have a full set of O-rings, a full set of screws, and this is a 510 drip tip adapter, or it's just a super shorty drip tip if you prefer. Either way you want, there you go. It comes with that. And last but not least, we have a little Allen wrench. So instead of your USB cable with a mod, you get your token Allen wrench. So there you go there. And nothing else in the box. A little bit disappointed they don't come with stickers anymore. Boo. All right, guys, let's talk about the specs. First of all, it's 24 millimeters in diameter. It holds three and a half mils of e-liquid. It has a threaded top fill with a knurled texture, two large filling ports, a 24 karat gold plated stainless steel postless build deck with a dual coil design. It has 29 one millimeter honeycomb comb air holes surrounding the terminals, peak insulation throughout, triple adjustable bottom air slots, 10 millimeters by two millimeters each, which are fully closable. It comes with a six millimeter bore Delrin 810 drip tip. It's made of 304 stainless steel and glass construction, and it has a gold plated 510 contact. All right, guys, let's go over the Mage RTA V2 from top to bottom as we typically do, starting with the drip tip. This is the Delrin drip tip with a nice little gold accent there. Hopefully you guys can see that it has Mage written on it right there. This is a friction fit or no o-ring sort of drip tip. So if you have anything similar, then it will fit, of course. Then you have the bore right down the middle, which is not super duper wide. It's not a typical 810 style bore there, but uh, it looks really nice. And uh, there you go. You can see the bottom as well. Just to show to you guys that it is in fact 810, we've got a dead rabbit tip and it fits really nice in there as well. Uh, no wiggle or wobble for either tip. And in the inside lip here, 
we have an o-ring so it does have an o-ring on that lip there which means it fits really nice and snug uh, i would say a little word of warning here this lip here is a little bit on the sharper side so just be a little careful there and you can see the bore going right down there towards the chimney knurled top section there which is really nice easy to grip onto and unscrew when it comes time to filling this thing a couple of threads and it comes off just like that threads by the way very nice and smooth no complaints in that department and you have your filling ports up there which are ample again this little o-ring at the top be careful when cleaning this thing so you don't end up losing it as you can see the chimney section is anodized black and it has a little engraved coil art logo right there which is a really nice touch and on the inside you have a slightly angled top cap section and really nice smooth threads so here's the build deck with my build still in it just so you can see exactly how I've been using this thing these coils are a little bit on the larger side for this build deck here it's a little cramped in there but I'd say overall it's really performing nicely the wicking is keeping up and the airflow is sufficient overall really nice performance with these coils so here you can see why I really love this device it's got tons of airflow going all the way underneath those coils which cools them off really nicely and with that it's super smooth as well I have no problems with turbulence or anything like that and that also makes it a nice quiet RTA as well you can also see why it's so easy to build it's a postless deck and you just basically drop your coils in there so here you can see the juice inlet and where you tighten down your screws which is really nice and compact and convenient we also have the knurled bottom section here with the airflow control ring and it has the same sort of thing like the sub ohm tank where you can have it half opened and it makes a nice perfect hole like that or you can fully open it of course as well and you get nice plentiful airflow on the bottom section here we have the mage engraving and the 510 pin of course gold plated with design by coil art right there at the bottom all right guys so that's what i've got for you in this little close-up section here let's go back to the main screen have a quick vape on this thing and we'll talk about it some more All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of this video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. My first pro today is that it's super easy to build. This one is very similar to a lot of postless RDA decks, which makes it really easy to figure out for people that normally do drippers like myself. And with that, it's not breaking any new ground with innovation, but at the same time, it's super easy to figure out. And all you have to do with this one here is just loosen those screws up, drop your coils in place, tighten them down, tune them up, and you're good to go. My second pro for this one are the aesthetics. I absolutely love the look of this device. I love the look of the Mage sub -ohm tank, and these two are almost identical. So with that, yeah, I like the look of this one as well. I love the black chimney section in the middle, and there's just the right amount of gold to make it not super gaudy. It definitely looks nice and classy and simple, which I really love. And my third pro is the build quality. I think the build quality on this one is top notch. It feels like it can take a lot of abuse. The screws are not the greatest, just like a lot of the other screws that I've tried in the past. But then again, I'll give it a a little bit of a pass there because overall the quality seems really really nice with this one here and I definitely think it's going to last me a long time. And my fourth and final pro today is that it works great on this Mage 217 box mod. Now that comes as no surprise to me because they're both coil art products but with that they just function really well together and they look great doing it. The little black and gold accents are just a really nice touch and if you're in the market for a box mod and an RTA then I would highly suggest this combination here. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons, my first con is that the bubble tank is made of plastic. Now, I really regret not mentioning this as a con for my sub -ohm tank review because that can be an issue, especially if you're old school like me and remember the days where you had to worry about which e-liquid you're putting in your tank because it could potentially crack it. Now, typically those tank cracker e-liquids were anything cinnamon, sour, banana flavors did it a lot and similar flavors to those. I mean, those tended to crack plastic tanks and that can still be an issue today with this device here. My second con for this one is something that I complain about in a lot of my tank reviews, and that's that the top filling method is a little bit old school and dated. I really wish they would get with the newer technology of the slide open top fill because that is so much more convenient than having to unthread everything, put it down, put it to the side, and fill up your tank. I mean, I personally go through about 20 to 30 mils a day, and if I'm using one device exclusively without the bubble glass, I'm filling this thing four or five times, no problem. And with that, it can just be a little bit tedious every time you go to fill this thing 
to have to unscrew the cap. And my third and final con for this device is that the build deck is a little bit on the cramped side. Now, granted, I do have two three millimeter coils in there right now, and it's working just fine, but I have noticed that it heats up the entire RTA because of the proximity of those coils to the actual chimney section, and with that, it also heats up my mod. So it can be a little bit of an issue there, especially if, if you like bigger coils like three and a half millimeter or anything like that. There's definitely a better product out there on the market for you. So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for review? I'm gonna say yes to this one, especially if you're planning on purchasing the Mage 217 box mod because they work really well together. I think it makes for a great combination and I really do enjoy this setup. I keep finding myself going back to this one and although I'm more of an RDA guy myself, this one just really fits the bill on what I like in a tank. So if you guys wanna pick one of these up for yourself, I'll leave a link right down there in the description below. But that about does it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever i upload videos also leave me some comments in the box below i'd love to hear your thoughts all about the mage v2 rta or anything else you guys want to discuss down there also make sure you check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the box below thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always vape on